Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we've got a dead, liquid damaged MacBook Air. It won't turn on. And uh, we're going to put this into, uh, we're going to take this board out and put it in the ultra the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner and see if it can revive this motherboard and allow it to turn back on again. You can see we have the MacBook Air A1466. You can see some of that liquid splashed on there. Pretty much right away, is you just look, immediately look down in there, you can see some areas that already you know are going to have to have some attention. So we're going to get started taking this motherboard out. I'm going to actually cut away from some of this for the sake of time. And so you don't have to sit through waiting for me to take all the screws out and disconnect everything. Other than that, it should, it, it's pretty, pretty straightforward from a start to finish perspective with those little bits cut out. So now that we've got everything disconnected and we're ready to take that board out, we'll just take a, a quick uh, view of the motherboard. You can see around that connector there, the display connector, that LVDS connector is pretty badly corroded. look under the microscope so before we put it in the ultrasonic cleaner we want to kind of have an idea of the areas that that have the most damage or the most liquid and that way we know kind of what areas we need to pay attention to So for sure, this area here, um, especially that display connector here, is, is definitely going to need a little bit more work after the ultrasonic cleaning. The ultrasonic cleaner will get the bulk of that off, but won't uh, it won't be good enough on its own. So what we'll do is we'll come back after the ultrasonic cleaning and we'll put some fresh flux on there and some fresh solder and we'll reflow all of these pens so that we can make sure that they have a good solid clean connection. looks like before the ultrasonic cleaning and this is what it looks like after the ultrasonic cleaning not bad it's a lot better than it was but we are going to make everything nice and perfect again
Now we're, the flux that we're putting on there is not only going to help our solder flow, but it's also going to help um, take away some of the the oxidation and corrosion that the liquid damage, the liquid itself causes. And we'll put some fresh solder on, on the tip of our iron and we will then go over each one of these pins with some fresh solder and the flux and as we're sort of rubbing over the tops of these pins we're also going to be removing oxidation and corrosion and replacing the old solder with the new solder So we've got one pass, but we want to stop for a second and we want to clean all of that dirty flux away and then do a second pass. So we're getting there. We're not quite where we want to be, but we're getting there. We're going to put some nice fresh flux again and add a little bit more solder to our soldering iron tip. And then we're going to go over those pins a second time. You can still see some of those might be a little bit of corrosion still left behind. We don't want any of that. And we want to make sure that we heat each one of these legs or pens, heat them up really good so that fresh new solder will flow nicely over each one. Okay, those all look really good now. Let's just clean off the leftover flux. 
and take another quick look at it. Those look really nice. They look much, much better now. Let's turn it around and look at it from a different angle. Much nicer. So with that little bit of extra work, the ultrasonic, the Crest ultrasonic cleaner has won the day again. We should have good display and we should be able to power on now. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the, uh, just hook the power up to it for a second and see if we get fan spin before we put this board back in the in the laptop So as you can see, we do have a good fan spin. That's very promising. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the display now to that new freshly fixed connector there. And I'm just going to cut away from all the screws and connecting cables and such. So you don't have to sit through and wait on all that. See the rest of the Crest Ultrasonic and our little extra little bit of work on that connector. The fruits of our labor have paid off. And the Crest wins again. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, like and share and subscribe. It really helps me out when you do that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.